it's that time again where I'm going through my archive of videos I have saved. The good thing is, I have now cleared about 200 gigabits worth of footage on my hard drive. With that being said, some of these clips will be older footage, some current and some from viewers that have sent me things they have found. I want to go right into the most damning evidence of human interference. That of which, will be clear evidence of slings. There will be no doubt that this is happening and it's been happening a long time. If you don't know what I mean by slings, you will now. This was found in a two-hour long video that was surprisingly edited but not edited well enough. Look at how many VOs were watching and not one of them said a damn thing. This is why no VO in Angkor Wat can be trusted. They are either the offender, or know it's going on, but says or does nothing about it. Here's when Libby gave birth to Brady. They were isolating other macaques from going to Libby to not block their camera view by using slings. It's extremely cruel to separate and isolate a new mother from other monkeys. Grooming has been scientifically proven to reduce stress and pain that of which, are both prevalent after giving birth. This deprives her of that need. So that alone is bad, but using slings on top of that, is disgusting, to say the least. Karma will catch up to these people eventually. If not anytime soon, then maybe when they're reincarnated in a painful everlasting cycle, in which they put these animals in. If you have been thinking that the mysterious cracking noises have been sticks, now you know that we weren't crazy after all. Speaking of which, there will be many incidences of the noises throughout this video. Then I think I've proved my point that this was and is still going on. I'm hesitant to show you this. But, I will be censoring it so you'll have to use a little of your imagination of what is going on. This is an old video of Sweet Pea being essayed by a VO. This went on for an entire 10 minutes until there was a physical reaction from Sweet Pea. If you catch what I'm saying, Sweet Pea couldn't stand it anymore as it was obviously annoying and finally walked away. He's trying to nap. I really don't know what's happening in these clips to cause this response. Other than Dio's simulating aggressive actions towards the monkeys. <laughs> Pretend kick? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see them do that to a real man. <laughs> this sound that Dawn is making is actually an alarm for help. This is not cute. Based on her behavior, Dawn is showing many signs of fear and stress. But here is this dimwit acting as if she is happy to see him. I beg to differ. Mom! Mom! Yeah. 
đã gắn nào đó nó còn bự Here is more of Dawn, but listen to the significant amount of noises in the background. Listen to this. The VO says, one more, to another monkey about food and then he imitates the sounds of slings. One more. If you don't know much about Dawn, she was once possibly injured by another monkey that left her traumatized. After that event, she wouldn't really take food from Bios as this is probably what caused her to be attacked in the first place. That is my opinion because this was a behavior she didn't acquire until after that injury. As you can see from the last clip, the Vios pick and choose who they want to feed. Sometimes they want certain monkeys to go hungry for donations. They were told to stop feeding them and they shouldn't. In my opinion, in the past, I would only make this exception as being okay for the newly abandoned monkeys. That's if they weren't adjusting fast enough on finding their own food and on a temporary basis. Preferably by someone who knew what they were doing. They should only be fed by humans in safe and emergency situations. These VOs use food to take advantage of these animals and can't be trusted to feed them at all, not even for emergency situations. But, I digress. To show you what I mean by how traumatized Dawn was at the time, watch this dimwit tease Dawn with food. You will see she's afraid to take it from the VO and only when he puts it down, that she takes the food and the VOs seem to think this is funny. นะดอนดอนอืมแต่ในสันบ่าแต่สันบ่าตาแต่ในสันนะ <laughs> 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 Luckily this monkey, whom I think is Rojo, is peaceful and friendly while holding a kitten, unlike other videos I have seen floating about on social media of other monkeys. This may be because they were once around cats when they were pet monkeys. However, that kitten is clearly newborn and at nursing age and it is really unacceptable to take a kitten from its mother for this purpose. It just shows that monkeys aren't the only animal they decide to exploit. It's at the end of this one that I become concerned with how he's holding the kitten, even though he's only trying to groom her and doesn't have the intention to harm. He's incapable of knowing how to handle or hold a cat properly and the VO put this in no consideration or they were looking for this kind of thing. Here's various sling noises. Some are followed by monkey noises thereafter. I have more to show you from my archive, but this video would be way too long. So I will make another video when I have time. Thanks for all your support and thanks for watching.